Hello, in this video from my Stay Home, Stay Healthy video series, I would like to provide you an update on some of our police services. First, some workers have been worried about traveling to their job site without documentation that they are headed to do essential work. I'd like to put your concerns to rest. While we're asking everyone to save lives by only engaging in essential activity, no paperwork or proof is necessary at this time. Second, some residents have expressed concern that we're moving towards martial law, government, or government operations that look more like military actions. Let me be clear. This is not where we're headed. When officers encounter someone who is not complying with the order, they know that they have an important role to play in reminding them of the restrictions in place, but they will not be actively seeking out individuals failing to comply with the order, and they have no desire to make arrests for violations. Besides, Tacomans are the kind of people who abide by the rules and really want to save lives. So I just wanted to update you with that. If you are seeing actions that you believe are in violation of the governor's orders, you can report them. But as I've mentioned before, please do not call 911. Save that line for emergencies. You can report business activity that you believe is in violation of the governor's orders by visiting coronavirus.wa.gov and clicking on the government emergency actions button. For non-business activity that appears to violate the order, you can call the non-emergency Tacoma Police Department line at 253-798-4721. Again, 253-798-4721. A third topic I want to cover today are our patrols and neighborhood safety. Much like the Tacoma Municipal Buildings, our police substations, which are additionally staffed by volunteers, have been closed to the public to limit the spread of COVID-19 in our city. Patrols continue at their usual volumes in every sector of the city, and Tacoma Police Department lobby remains open to serve you with any essential need. While volunteers are not currently staffing our substations, we remain available for emergencies that might happen. And for those, we hope you will call 911. Fourth, a few people have reached out to ask, what police services can we provide to our business community during the COVID-19 outbreak? The patrol division and community police division officers have been directed to increase the emphasis on business district patrols within their assigned sectors. Additionally, Sector commanders and community liaison officers will be in contact with business district representatives as a part of their normal community outreach. And finally, just like any time, we are all safer when we keep an eye out for one another. This is why neighborhood watch groups can be so impactful. Like so many aspects of this pandemic, we are safer and stronger together. While we collectively move through this crisis, we can do so with care and compassion for one another. We will make it through this to better times and we will do it together. Stay safe, stay home when you can, and stay healthy.